Hello, my name is Gray, and today I will go over the different incarnations of the Shredder in the 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV series. The Tengu named the Shredder suddenly appeared in Japan in the year 300 AD and went on a rampage to subjugate the world and to turn it into his own personal empire. To combat the Tengu Shredder, the Emperor called upon the five warriors known as dragons, equipped with magical armor by the Imperial Court. However, the Tengu Shredder corrupted one of them, Oroku Saki, asking him to take his soul in exchange for almost unlimited power. The ambitious Saki agreed and let the demon's soul merge with his own before he destroyed the Tengu's body with his sword. The five warriors returned to the Emperor and gave them the three-toed sign of the dragon as their symbol. However, Saki took up the mantle of the Shredder, conquered Japan, and inverted the symbol to his own. The Shredder was defeated, but could not be destroyed, so the four dragons sealed him in a coffin and hid his helmet and gauntlet. The four dragons kept watch over those objects, for if they were to be reunited, then the Shredder would rise again. To help them prevent the Shredder's revival, the four dragons declared themselves the Ninja Tribunal and taught their secret arts to pure and worthy warriors as their acolytes. 700 years later, the Utram, known as Shirel, tried to expand his power base by war, spreading terror and crime. After three centuries he was captured, but on their way to the Utram homeworld, Shirel escaped and caused the ship to crash land on Earth landing in the Sengoku period of feudal Japanese history. Shirel escaped, and the other Utrams took the remaining technology from the shipwreck to create robot bodies, so they could hide amongst the humans and wait for technology to develop to be able to go back home. Shirel succeeded to steal a robot body. Now able to move undetected, he learned martial arts and placed a coat of samurai armor around it. Shrell took on the guise of the Shredder, inspired by the legends he'd heard about a feared warrior from ancient times. Using the flipped three-toe sign of the dragon, he proceeded to create the Foot Clan to seek vengeance on his fellow Utrams and continue his plans of conquest. Despite not being the demonic version of the Shredder, Shrell is shown to have control of some of his minions, due to the fact that he holds the heart of Tengu. By the 20th century, Shirel has established his human alias as Oroku Saki, an influential billionaire businessman secretly leading a massive underground criminal empire with the foot. Shirel adopted an abandoned human girl named Karai and raised her as if she was his own. He taught her everything he knew about ninjutsu and leadership, explaining to her that the Utrams were wrongfully hunting him. The Utrams, to protect themselves from Shrell, founded a secret society, the Guardians. Shrell located Amato Yoshi, one of these Guardians, and demanded to know the Utrams' location. Yoshi refused to answer, and the Shredder murdered him in front of his pet rat, Splinter. During the struggle, Splinter escaped to the sewers, where he and four baby turtles were accidentally exposed to mutagenic ooze created by the Utrams. And you know the rest. Splinter taught them the art of the ninja, which he had learned through mimicry of Yoshi. Fifteen years later, Shredder continued to rule New York's underworld until the Turtles began encountering the Foot Clan and unknowingly foiling several of his plans until they went on an assault on the Foot headquarters. Leonardo faced the Shredder one-on-one, -on -one, culminating in Leo beheading the Shredder. Unaware of his Utram nature, the Turtles believed that he was dead. Shrell found the Utram's location and their transmat, which they intended to use to return home. Donatello managed to power up the transmat through which the turtles escaped and the Utrams returned home. Shirel presumably perished in the building's implosion. However, Shirel survived and was taken to the Foot headquarters. Shirel then used his wealth to construct a large spaceship to return to the stars in the hopes that he could destroy the Utrams. His ship launched but an Utram ship came by and placed the ship in a time stasis field, evacuating everyone before the explosion. On the Utram homeworld, Shrell was placed on trial before the Utram High Council for his actions. 
Upon being found guilty for all the chaos and destruction, he was sentenced to external exile on an ice asteroid. The Shredder from the 1987 universe located Shrell and teleported him to the Technodrome, hoping to gain Shrell's support. But Shrell proceeded to take control of the Technodrome. He upgraded it with Utrom science to make a new ultimate weapon. He found out that there were Ninja Turtles in every dimension, so he captured the Turtles of the 1987 and 2003 universe to use their DNA to locate the originating dimension, Turtle Prime. By destroying Turtle Prime, he would destroy the Ninja Turtles in every dimension. But he soon found himself confronted by the Prime, 1987 and 2003 Turtles and was apparently destroyed. After Shirelle was gone, Karai took over the Foot Clan and became the Shredder for a couple of seasons. Her approach was different from previous Shredders, and while she did take the mantle, she was still pretty much Karai. Five Foot Mystics broke free of Karai after getting their hands on the heart of Tengu, and sought to free their master. When the artifacts were gathered together, they defeated the Ninja Tribunal and took the artifacts to New York, where they revived the Shredder so that he could take revenge on Karai, who usurped his title. Shredder revealed the demon and undead minions he summoned while in the Netherworld, and transformed New York into a world of chaos, darkness, and monsters. The Turtles and their allies led an attack on the Shredder, because anyone who claims the identity of the Shredder for themselves develops an unconscious mystical connection with the original Shredder. Karai had a link to sap his energies to weaken him, so that they could separate his helmet and gauntlet. Shredder went to attack Splinter, when Amato Yoshi manifested from the Turtles' medallions. Yoshi snatched the Shredder's trident and slashed him with it, which caused precious energy to leak from his armor. To repair himself, the Shredder restored New York to normal before he transformed into his dragon avatar. The Turtles also became dragons and destroyed the gauntlet and helmet. When the Turtles returned to their normal forms, their acolyte amulets were destroyed, and they manifested Yoshi's spirit once again. Yoshi sliced the Shredder in half with his sword. In addition to the Shredder's physical form destroyed, the demon essence was destroyed as well, because Yoshi was summoned as a completely astral manifestation, a full projection of purity from the astral plane that could eradicate demonic essences. Therefore, the one true Shredder was utterly vanquished forever. Shrell created a cybernetic copy of himself, which could be brought to life just in case anything happened to his corporeal form. The program remained unnoticed in the database of the Foot Clan until the living computer virus, Viral, came across it and tried to access it. But the digital engram infected her, reformatting her into a vessel for the Cyber Shredder. Now awakened to life and in possession of viral skills, the Cyber Shredder could not leave cyberspace on his own. Prior to her demise, Viral took the Turtles to a point in the near future when Cyber Shredder battled the Utram Shredder and the Tengu Shredder. The Cyber Shredder first encountered the Turtles in the Cyber Realm. He learned that the Turtles were looking for their master Splinter, which Viral had recently broken down into data bits and he saw that they had built a cyber portal to restore their father, which would be his ticket out of cyberspace. While the turtles were in cyberspace, locating a cluster of Splinter's data bits, the Shredder had extracted enough information from Donatello to create his own cyber portal into reality. Cyber Shredder succeeded in infecting one of the last of Splinter's data bytes with a virus before the turtles could get it. After Splinter was rematerialized, the Cyber Shredder received the information and learned how to duplicate the process on himself. However, Donatello extracted the homing beacon from Splinter, using it to get a sample of Cyber Shredder's digital core. As he had taken over a large part of his core design from Viral, Cyber Shredder was destroyed with the same decompiling blast which had destroyed Viral seemingly bringing an end to Cyber Shredder again, and possibly preventing the future where three Shredders battled. That is all for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, press the like button. Thanks for watching.